Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So in response to a viewer question I was asked earlier today, and the question was, can you show all flags you have manually enabled? Now, um, that comment was on one of the Edge Canary videos I did earlier today. So I'm taking, um, it's regarding flags, experimental flags I have manually enabled in Edge Canary, which is a preview version of the browser, as many of you would know. And uh, um, if you are interested, maybe this will not be the most exciting video you've ever seen. But just to go through a list of flags I have enabled in Edge Canary. And I have posted on um, most probably every one of these flags on this channel. And uh, if you are interested and would like more info, then you can just do a search pertaining to each flag. And I'm sure you'll get something in the search results. And also you can just pause the video if you want more info regarding a specific flag. Um, now the first is enable history accelerator to open the full page. And um, that enables the history keyboard shortcut to open the full page instead of the hub. I have posted on that recently. Project Kodiak, um, Edge users will have a better browse experience for their personal and work lives. Uh, related matches for found on page, that was an interesting one. Project Robin experiment, now I must be honest, Project Robin, um, even up until this day, I'm not exactly sure exactly what that was all about, um, but was a flag nonetheless. One of the first flags videos I ever did on this channel, I think. Um, Microsoft Edge split screen enables a split screen feature, that was a video I posted earlier today. Sound content setting that enables the site wide muting uh, in the content settings and tab strip context menu for muting uh, different sites when you are playing media. Show Windows 11 visual effects in title bar and toolbar. Um, that was actually a video I did post on last year sometime and it enables all the different kind of Windows 11 marker and fluent design to the browser. And in line with that, make rounded tabs feature available. As you can see, uh, the tabs in Edge Canary kind of hover above uh, the actual um, the web browser and that they have rounded uh, features and um, that was also what I posted on sometime last year in conjunction with uh, the visual effects the flag just above it. I uh, enable workspaces um, that was also quite an interesting video I did on that different workspaces very similar to tab groups. Enable opening supported links with installed web apps so if a link open from the OS uh, uh, is within the scope of an installed web app. The web app can be launched to handle the link navigation. Web app sidebar enables a sidebar experience within web application windows. Uh, enhance text contrast. It renders text using the same contrast and gamma settings that are used elsewhere in windows. Uh, windows fluent scroll bars. This was one I actually posted on as well earlier today. So you can just check that out. Boost screen refresh rate when scrolling allows Windows to temporarily boost the refresh rate up when scrolling provided the machine has a VRR panel and a supporting driver. This provides an overall smoother scrolling experience. Um, enable Windows 11 acrylic effect in menus. Um, obviously that will support, enable support for the acrylic effect uh, in all the different uh, menus uh, and that would be context menus and so on uh, in the browser. Command palette, enable DevTools command bar to quickly access DevTools commands invoked with control and Q. Global media controls, enables the global media controls in the UR toolbar. And that's up here in the toolbar when you are playing um, media and audio and video. That's also available by as a default feature in Google Chrome. Enables screenshot and new PDF viewer enables the new experimental version of PDF reader. So as I say, I've enabled about 18 to 20. Um, and um, at this stage, that's in Edge Canary. And if you are interested uh, in what I have enabled in Chrome Canary, then just leave a comment down below. And then I can always just do a very quick video sometime on the experiment experimental flags I have enabled in Chrome Canary and um, although I do post um, experimental flags uh, in the stable version of Microsoft Edge and also Google Chrome um, I don't actually leave the flags enabled I am um, I personally just prefer to have no experimental flags enabled uh, in stable versions of browsers but as you know and um, when it comes to Edge Canary and Chrome Canary I like to so-called go to town when it comes to testing different features and um, experimenting with flags and experimental features, obviously for the purpose of this channel. So let me know if you are interested, I can always do one um, regarding Chrome Canary and the experimental flags I've enabled uh, in that version of the browser. So thanks for watching 
and I will see you in the next one.